Now, he's the disgraced GP, stripped of his medical licence after performing a series of botched surgeries. Years after their bungled operations, a number of women are still fighting Les Blackstock for compensation. And to add insult to injury, they've now learned they're unlikely to get a cent due to an insurance loophole. Les Blackstock, Chris Allen from McCarran Affair, mate. Can we ask you some questions on behalf of the women who say you butchered them at your cosmetic surgery clinic? In simple terms, he's just a butcher. He's a monster. I had multiple infections. Um, I was on antibiotics for months. Les, those women, some of them have described you as a monster. Surely you'd like to say something about that. When we first caught up with Les Blackstock two years ago, he had nothing to say, even though he'd been struck off for seven years after multiple complaints against him. Les, Les, we'd just like to ask you some questions. Surely you can answer these questions. He should behave like a doctor and have the ethics and morals of a doctor. Les, you've been struck off. You've pleaded guilty to operating without a licence. Surely these women are entitled to some form of compensation. All I could feel was ripping and tearing and I was screaming and all he, I remember him saying to me was that it's OK, it'll be over soon. Rachel Archer admits she chose Les Blackstock for breast implants in 2017 because he offered a payment plan at his cut price surgery in Sydney's West. Like all the patients here, Rachel says she was awake during the procedure. I remember him sitting me up, putting me in front of a full length mirror and asking me if they were good enough, if they were big enough. I could feel them scraping my ribs. I could feel them doing, I don't even know what they were doing. Kristen Hammond had the same experience as Rachel in 2016, saying after her surgery she suffered multiple infections. I still struggle, physically struggle with nerve damage, like lifting my arms up and, and holding heavy things. He was offering uh, totally discounted uh, breast surgery. Like, it would cost you 11000 if you went to a professional uh, surgeon. He was doing them at the back of his GP uh, surgery. Lawyer Les Abood says he has represented 50 women who've taken legal action against Les Blackstock. He was waking up these women during the surgery. They were only sort of sedated. And he would say, oh, look, uh, what do you think of your breasts now? Would you like them bigger? Would you like them smaller? A current affair started investigating Blackstock's procedures five years ago when women started complaining about his practices. This is the disgraced doctor trying to explain back then. We put the tumescent anaesthetic in, then they're awake, they can communicate with us from that side and they can be involved in the very difficult decision of sizing from that way. He just wasn't a professional doctor. I mean, doing these surgeries in the back of your GP surgery is not an ideal place and, and made them all susceptible to infections. I was in emergency about a week later with excruciating pain in my left breast and they found out that I had two hematomas in that breast. All the women we've spoken to say they've suffered physically and emotionally. I didn't realise how raw it still is all these years later. And it's, and it's hard because I feel damaged. I feel violated. Mentally, that's something that you kind of raise. Many of the women left damaged by Les Blackstock have been awarded compensation through insurance. But Kristen and Rachel are part of a group of six women who are unlikely to see a cent. Their lawyer saying because Blackstock didn't pay the excess on his insurance, the policy was cancelled. These ladies got caught up in that year or 11 months that he wasn't covered. And it's just a technicality and, and, and it's just wrong. Everybody knows what, he, what type of person he is. Um, so the fact that he didn't pay his, his insurance premium doesn't shock me at all. The six women have been awarded a total of more than three million in damages. Single mum Kristen says she can't work because of the botched surgery. 
I've got three young kids and it's hard. It's very hard. Everything's harder to do financially. And I want to be able to give my kids everything that they deserve. And, you know, it's, it's really, really hard. Les Blackstock is now the only one who could compensate the women if he chose to. But after he was suspended, he moved to the Gold Coast where he was living in this mansion owned by his wife, Violet, who was a nurse at his clinic. She's since sold the house and another property for more than $4 million. But Violet also had nothing to say when we caught up with her previously. Violet, can we ask you some questions? Have you anything to say to the women who accuse your husband of butchering them? You have nothing to say to them? Do you feel any sympathy for them? The fact that she has millions and millions of dollars and knows what her husband has done to all of us women makes me feel really sick that she, they can go to sleep every night. He has paid nothing. If anything, he has gained because he's been able to still dodge the system and carry on living his life while other people are, are struggling. It's madness, isn't it? And we tried to contact Les Blackstock, but his wife Violet told us he was travelling and unavailable.